Okay. This is Jamari's. He finally got banned. Now, I knew Neo got... Uh, Neo. Neon got banned from a clip I saw. I thought it said something about doxing. But apparently, he said something wilder. Let's see if it's discussed here. A little while since we last talked about IRL streamer Neon. Last time we caught up with him, he was losing it all. From his deal with Kick to his OF girlfriend and really losing relevance by the day. I guess the bot farms over in India were no longer in service, <gasps> less and less of his clips have been going viral, and in general it seems like the fall off has begun. For his ex-girlfriend Sam, you could really say the same. She's been running around acting like a thought. It's like these two each a cancerous virus that could only spread when their powers combined. <gasps> I mean, let's be real, you can only go on making this type of scripted content for so long before the kids into the next grade and move on to Paw Patrol. And recently, it looks like Neon might really be in for a rude awakening. As yesterday, he was banned from the Kick platform. And no, guys, the title of this video is not clickbait. I'm here on Google, and when you try to go to Neon's kick page, boom, this is what you get right now. I wonder, oh, Oops, we were supposed to check. Something went wrong, a four. We were supposed to check. Is he still banned? Let's see. Oh, he's still banned. Oh, damn. Hey, tight shit. Four air. And you guys already know that kick is extremely lenient. I mean, there's people literally doing it all on the stream if you know what i'm saying so to get banned from there you know you have to do some pretty heinous stuff like you really got to be sick in the head and so this is apparently the clip that got neon banned i gotta oh. blow half the screen because you know i don't it's the whole thing Do oh i only heard that i didn't watch the full clip i thought it was only docs oh no, no. it's on my channel but neon's on some sort of omega call with this kid and they pretty much just start spazzing out on each other and he makes some disgusting threats towards him. The fuck? I tried to be nice to you, bro. Oh, fuck the fuck up. I'll beat the shit out of you and your fat girlfriend, bro. What the fuck? That fat I'll smack her in her face too, bitch. Now, obviously, the kid should not be talking that way, but like I already told y'all, he doesn't appear to be older than like 10. And so obviously it's going to be the responsibility of the adult to handle this type of situation maturely. And Neon does the opposite. And I'll got him about a dox your entire family. What's your name? You're not doing shit. Shut What's the up, suck my dick, bro. You a What's your name? All I need is your first name. I don't care. I'm an internet warrior. What's your name? What's your first name? What's your first name? Tell me your first name. See, this is all I heard. And I was like, oh, okay. He said he was going to dox him. Niggas wildin'. This herb. It's not gonna be too long. I ain't hear the rest of it, though. If you're Miami, I don't please, you're 10 years old. I'll you your ass please and bleed. Yeah, I swear to God, shut the fuck up, bitch. So yes, this man what? really threatened to dox and then physically violate some kid on a computer. Obviously, this isn't the smartest move, but am I surprised by his actions? Absolutely not. For those of you that don't know, Neon first rose to fame as a kid himself after he was out here faking his death online. And then he would disappear for a while, but he would resurge on the internet a couple years later. And he was pretty much doing what this kid did to him right here. He would enter random Zoom calls and just start trolling people, start shitting all over them, or at least attempting to. And so in a lot of ways, it's ironic that this behavior seems to be what got him banned. I mean, you can't press a little kid like this, dude. And I guess that Neon was just feeling himself last night. Pause. Apparently, he even exposed Jack Doherty for signing girls to OF contracts when they're apparently underage and under what? the influence, he says. Hey, Jack, f you, bro. I was actually speaking highly of you for the first time. You want to come here and talk? It's all good, bro. I, I just don't care, bro. The crazy thing is, Jack, you would not say that to my face, bro. You're a f***ing joke. Let me tell you exactly what Jack does. I don't care. You want to say that? Now I'm going to violate you and expose your script. Here's what you do. I'm going to tell you exactly what you do. You get 17-year-old girls the night before their birthday. You got you buy a $10,000 yacht every time. You get them drunk and they sign a contract 50% of their life every single time. F*** you. Now that is a very serious oh my, allegation yo, to levy against some. That's criminal. That is cr I bro. On the day of they, the night before they turn 18? That's, nah, that is some real diabolical shit, bro. Holy, get that nigga up out of here too. Holy. Somebody, 
But with multiple people saying this and Jack's, Jack's ex- wait, 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 wait. Jack's ex girlfriend knows about him grooming girls. The girl she was talking about is 17 years old. He met with intentions of using her to start an OnlyFans because she had a fresh that would attract older men. Even worse, he took 100% of her revenue and gives her what the fuck? He looking like he has that Roblox head. I don't know if I find it too hard to believe. I mean, any girl that's willing to sign their life over to this guy has to be at least a little bit out of their mind. And with these influencers, the I wonder fuck, if they're just bro? like sitting back during these hangouts, gathering dirt on each other, and then waiting for the most advantageous moment to reveal oh, it to no, the public. Sir. Like for Neon, it's like, do you really care that he's doing this to these girls allegedly? Or are you just talking shit to him now because he's trying to trash you? I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't make him a much better person for trying to expose this when it's convenient for him. Now, just some other Neon not updates fat. here because it has not been going well for our Indian friend. Apparently, he made a song for the ex-girlfriend after their breakup. And let me just tell you, my guy, do not quit your day job. You are no nov. Like, no one wants to hear you, even with auto-tune. For the ex-girlfriend, she's still trying to ride their wave. I mean, obviously, even less people care about her. She's out here on her YouTube channel posting compilations of their cutest moments and bullshit. Best like moments that. is crazy. Like, just give it up, girl. It's over. I mean, Neon's been having a wild ride, guys. Here he is getting taken away in handcuffs after they heard that. Didn't they? Didn't isn't he getting sued by his uh? Isn't he getting sued by his uh his security guard? Horrible song. They had to arrest him. I guess not our Indian compadre, man. Damn. No, the real reason that they uh, had him handcuffed there was that I guess they rented some sort of car and it was actually a hot or a stolen vehicle, but he wouldn't wow. go to jail or anything like that. Now, another thing that's been new with Neon is that he, like many other influencers, tried the whole boxing thing, but it really only lasted about a week. One, two, three. Nice shit. Give me that seven. Load it first. Load. Isn't he supposed to be boxing Aiden Ross? I thought he was supposed to be boxing Aiden. Aiden pulled out. Little, little quick, keep your fist tight. That's all you're doing. You're bending sorry, your wrist. Keep it tight. And just place it. Nice. Snatch it up. Oh, there you go. Pull it back. There you go. 7-3. There you go. Nah, but hey, man, shout out to anyone trying to better themselves. He actually doesn't look too horrendous on the pads. Like, I think there's a small possibility he could beat up that kid he was beefing with on the phone call. And of course, during this training, he ended up calling out Aiden Ross for a fight. As some of you may remember, the two have had some beef for the last couple of months because Aiden wasn't with the ex-girlfriend. And I guess Neon was talking a lot of shit. So they were supposed to fight. Here's how it went the last time they boxed. I mean, it was... Probably the most pathetic exhibition I've ever seen. Watch your face! You know, my grandparents' generation had Muhammad Ali, my parents, they had Mike Tyson, and us guys, we have Neon the Great versus mm -mm. Jake Paul. And so apparently they had this fight all set up, but Aiden backed out at the last moment. Of course, Neon took his opportunity to talk shit. I didn't ask for any I was chilling, bro. I was chilling eating chicken, bro. For I was really? chilling. <laughs> Motherfuckers put this shit on me and locked shit in and said they're gonna kill me in a ring. So kill me in the ring. Kill me in the ring, bro. Kill me in the ring. Hurt me, bro. You wanna hurt me? Hurt me. Hurt me, bro. Don't just say that on stream and then pussy out, bro, like a bitch. Hurt me, bro. Do it. And at this point, Aiden Ross really just hates this guy. I mean, here he talks about how some of his other friends could not get a deal on kick because people like Neon are botting all their viewers. But what I will say is this. People that I would say inflate 
to get better deals on kick, they ruined it for my boys. Because yeah. I was trying to get uh, my, my boys Cheezer. For me too. Cheezer and Convy, and you're an example, the deals. And because there's a, a streamer that was viewbounding heavy. Who's yeah. walking around Universal Studios, yes. <laughs> I couldn't get them a oh, deal. Yeah, and I did not know that. And that's how it was confirmed that it was Neon because he was doing streams at Universal, acting like a clown. Knew that's that I wanted up. to get them a deal, that's and I couldn't up. get them a deal. That's fucked Because he was bonding too much. That's you know what I'm saying? Up. And to me, the thing is, like, if the owner of Kick is onto somebody view botting, why doesn't he just boot him off the platform, like, permanently? Like, I feel like if on YouTube someone was trying to view bot or sub bot or like bot, they would put an into that shit really fast. Because it does really compromise the legitimacy of your website, like, advertisers are paying to show advertisements to actual people. They don't want- But that's the thing, there's no advertisers here. There's no advertisers here yet. So you can't, they, what, what, why, why would they necessarily stop? Like, I get, yeah, stopping it, it's not good, but there's no advertisers over here yet. It's, the thing is getting people here. That's what the main thing is right now. Being showed to bots. And here's where the situation really escalates. This is actually Aiden's response to Neon talking shit about him backing out of the boxing match. Where he basically says, I made you and I can take you out whenever I want. You say you call me out, then push it out after claiming you don't want to be my ass because you don't want to give it attention. A week later, you mention me on stream. If you're too pussy, you fight too many in my mouth. Neon, you got to humble yourself, bro. I made your entire career. You're where you are because of me. And Neon, I know about your deal dropping, bro. Humble yourself, bro. I'm not giving you that event. <laughs> I found it. Thank you. W Citrus. I'm not giving you that event, bro. I know you need that event to save that kick. Deal. I'm not giving you it, bro. You, I'm not, that's all I'm going to say, bro. Humble yourself, bro. Humble yourself. You're not me. Yeah, I have a feeling that Aiden does not like the way that Neon was talking when he was... Humble yourself. You know, you're not me body. is insane. Humble yourself. You're not me. Holy. Top, because during that time, Neon was saying, oh, I'm more relevant than Aiden. I'm bigger on this platform than him. And he was basically talking big shit. And he's hurt now that all of his friends have basically left his side. He lost the cloud chasing girlfriend. And it seems like his life is crumbling around him. Here was his response to Aiden. But yeah, um, there's nothing to worry about. I do want to say that on my end chat. Um, me, me and Eddie are fucking solid, bro. Eddie loves me. I love him. He realizes, like, I realize how much he's done for me. He realizes that, like, bro, we've really been working together. It's a beneficial relationship. Just know, chat, someone who someone who, lo who lost their deal and lost their money went about, isn't about to spend this much money. Isn't about to spend. So now, to me, Neon is treading very dangerous waters here mm. because obviously, like, when it comes to the hierarchy around Kick, Aiden Ross is like way up here above everyone else, and Neon is down here as a mere peon, like. Like, you gotta also think about it. This nigga Aiden has stake in the company, bro. They collabed with Aiden in train to make this platform. You're you're not you're not bigger than Aiden, dude. You're not. You're not. Aiden has legendary clips. Like he's he said some shit, he's done some shit. But Aiden has legendary clips. I see that fucking that Tory Lanez clip at least once a month go viral every single time. Rapping on Aiden's stream. The only clips of you that are going viral are in the negative light, bro. It's, I'm gonna be honest. Kai and Aiden made streaming mainstream as a motherfucker, bro. You're not that guy. I'll be honest. Oh, did we just find his new nickname, Peon? <laughs> Seriously, though, if Aiden wants Neon gone tomorrow, I likely think that he could do it. Because Aiden is obviously a much bigger part of Kick's master plan. I think he has ownership in the platform. Yep. And so obviously they have vested interest in continuing their partnership with him. And these are the types of people that Neon is hanging out right now who are doing this type of shit to him. Okay. Do you still stock Aiden Ross? Wait, 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 what's no. the question? Wait, wait, what's the question? Shut your ass up. What the f***? What is this, bro? This is not how it's supposed to be! Huh? Taping someone to a garage is insane. I remember back in the day, I went to this pool party, oh, and one man. of my friends, who was never really getting too many girls, I guess he got too excited off the hype, and he let them duct tape him to a tree. The secondhand embarrassment I felt that day was just hilarious. It's a good thing. That back then, you know, social media was not so prevalent, so there might still be some clips of him out there floating around. And someone else he lost recently was actually that security guard who was always going around overimposing his will. 
and really overstepping his boundaries, not acting very professional at all. You gonna keep letting people talk shit? I air this bitch out right now. We'll see how you feel. Oh. Yeah, on security press. This is the fuck out of Modi. No, I'm saying I'm gonna murder your Modi ass. Keep it up. God keep damn. Up. Murder? No, look at me. They're gonna look not at me. Not murder. Murder? I'm just saying like, I'm right here. This is not how a security guard is supposed to act, man. Just Are be it? chill in the background. Why are you challenging people? Let's play the game. Bro, I'm saying let's play the game. Yeah, this old man is pretty scary. I mean, I gotta think at his old age, he probably has a kid seeing this shit. Even Ryan Garcia stepped in to say something about his security. I gotta just do it, bro. Yo. Can I talk to you real quick, just me and you? Yeah. yeah. Bro, you look like a bitch, bro. Ooh. Actually? You know what? <laughs> Death, but seeking validation from 50 other men is the gayest shit I've ever seen. That's you, facts. The man who bruh. 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 Holy. That is a nigga that cares about him, bro. That is a nigga that cares about him because he's fucking spitting. That nigga, I don't know who that nigga is, but he cares about you. Keep him around, bro. On oh, baby. From 50 other men is the gayest shit I've ever seen. That's if you, facts. The man who pays the bills and employs everybody in that bitch wants to smoke a joint. Smoke a joint. Look at the camera and enjoy yourself. Who gives a fuck, exactly. bro? Facts. That ass. That's right. Uh, man, go protect the front door. Yo, <laughs> he's watching. He's watching. So Neon's legitimately scared of this security guard. Ryan's basically saying the security. Oh, that's Ryan have Garcia. I didn't even realize. Ryan Garcia being a W man at that moment. I employ you, nigga. You work for me. I get you trying to keep me safe and keep niggas in line, but you also get there's a boundary, there's a respect thing. Cause if I want to right now, nigga, you will be fired. What's going on on screen, like? I'm gonna do whatever I want back here. You go do your job. I mean, this security guard, Leon, okay, it's funny, it was Leon and Neon. Yeah, this fucker was constantly losing his cool. JCV, mute the microphones. Mute. Leon, Neon security pressured into boxing with Aiden Security has lost his cool. He threatens to break the camera and. The fing microphones, I will break your camera. I'm God, not joking. Man. Mute the fing guy's just insane. Hey, 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 hey. Serious. What did I just ask you to do, bro? This guy is like oh, no. obviously constantly trying to use his physical stature to intimidate people. And one day he's going to find the wrong one. Like, I would love to see this guy challenge someone who's actually his size. I mean, he was out here just straight up being disrespectful, slapping cigarettes out of homeless men's hands. Oh, I mean, this guy was really feeling like he was the star. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And so eventually Neon had to announce that the security guard got fired. He really did have my best interests at heart, bro, and I really, really appreciate him. And I know one day everything's gonna work out, but for right now we're just we're 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 we're, we're, we're um you know. And sadly he's not having much better luck with the ladies. Wow. As the only women who seem to really want to be around him are just more clout chasing internet girls. And should we really be surprised? I mean we saw what he did for that other chick's career and so they're all looking at him like they're a bunch of piranhas and he's yeah. just really like an injured little goldfish trying to enter the sea i'm sorry you I'm had sorry, to be reminded Leon. i'm sorry, I'm sorry you had to be Leon. reminded reminded of what i'm sorry you had oh. to be reminded of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is this are you really sad yeah so boy <laughs> man to, I'm gonna be honest, I feel bad for the nigga a little bit. To be used to this stature actually has to be insane. Like, really sit there and think about it. Nobody comes around you because they like you. Green is, he oh God. It's like, you have no, like there's barely any genuine, everybody's coming around you to use you, bro. You said how I get famous, because they kind of, you know what I mean? I said. No, no, no. 
Nah, I can't even go any farther, bro. These chicks would do anything for clout these days. But apparently he's trying to come through with the rebrand, okay? He says, I love y'all. No more lies. And I guess he could feel the clout leaving his veins. The black Spider-Man suit was coming off. <gasps> and so now he's saying he's back with the OF chick, okay? They made a business decision, I suppose. You guys want to know if I'm still with Sam? And the answer to that is, um, the answer to that is, um, uh, yes, I am. You got your answer. You got what you wanted to hear. Um, I am with her. So I'm sure they might return to oh, torment wow. our screens one day very soon. I mean, the thing is, guys, he could have had a long-standing relationship with Aiden Ross. I mean, I know a lot of you do not like Aiden, but obviously he knows how to garner a big audience, and it was right up Neon's wheelhouse. He could have taken him right to the top, and like we discussed earlier, he's stuck being Peon, you know, Neon Peon. So it looks like it's going to be rough for our guy, yeah. you know, from here on out. I would say that he has likely hit his peak when it comes to his relevance online. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this down below. Do you think that his banning will last longer than like 24 hours? I mean, he did say some pretty nasty shit, but it is kick. Either way, y'all know it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. And some of the D-Gen streamers out here need to be covered. So I'm out. Hey, that be video. Here's my thing, though. It sucks because, you know what I'm saying, we made a home over here at Kick. We fuck with Kick on this side. But Kick is looked at in such a negative light. And I, I, what I hate is the fact that a lot of these smaller niggas that are making great content, that are doing stuff for the platform and actually being genuine, are getting looked over because there's all constantly like negative Kick clips put out there. But we'll see. We'll see. All in due time, though. But WV.